Let's take a look at how to record video in Darkroom Booth. This works in version 2.16 and later and currently works with Canon SLRs and Nikon SLRs that support video recording. Webcams will be coming soon. Uh, once you install the newer build you should see two uh, new samples, Video Photo Booth and Video Photo Booth 2. And you'll also notice under your text and timing we have a couple new fields. There's video start text, end text, there's some timing fields here before, um, and then this one is pretty important. If you want Darkroom Booth to automatically record when they hit video session or if you want to manually st allow the user to start and stop the recording. And so let's take a look at our first sample. I'll go to the screen. We'll hit Start Booth and when I click on the video booth it's going to go ahead and automatically record after the countdown. I'm speeding this up a bit and this will do an eight second video because that's what I have the setting for. The videos are saved in the same place under the hood as the photos are. The easiest way to get there is to go to the photos tab for your event, go to the photo menu and choose open containing folder and you'll see that you have a folder for videos and in there will be all your videos recorded in the format that the camera records them in. And now we'll take a look at how that screen is set up. So if I go to edit and the first view looks a little overwhelming but remember we can go through and just kind of filter through the different states of the booth. If we look at the startup, this button, there's a new command and we have video session and we have start and stop. So I'll show you the second sample has the start and stop and this one when they click on this button it goes right to recording video after a certain countdown and you can see the um, while the before the video and then during the video it's going to give them the countdown text and then after the video it's just the thank you. Okay, now let's take a look at the second sample where we have a start and stop. So we hit start booth and this time when you hit video booth you'll see you'll have a record button and a stop button and once you hit record it's going to record and then you can stop at any time. And now let's take a look at how this screen is set up. If I edit this screen, again a little overwhelming in the beginning, if I look at the during startup and I look at the video button Again, it's set to video session. That's going to kick me into the video mode. So if I go to the before video, here's what it's going to look like. I've got a cancel, which will kick me uh, back to the uh, start screen. And you'll notice now I have a record and stop button. And if I double click on that, you can see the command is start video. And on the stop button, the command is stop video. Um, now this is where the timings come into play. If I cancel out of this and I go look at the text and timing, for my sample 2, I've got it set to require a manual click to start recording and I've got this set to 8 seconds. So if somebody clicks video and then they don't hit start or stop, Darkroom Booth will go back to the initial start screen. Uh, you know, if somebody hit the button and then they got out of the booth and never hit start stop on the video. So you might want to increase this if you want to give people a little more time um, to realize they need to hit the start and stop button. Um, here's the countdown timer before it begins. The maximum video. This is important if you're doing the automatic because this would just be in a state where you just want to give people all you can do is a 10 second video. On this event you may want to give people a longer amount of time so you could set the maximum to say 20-30 seconds and they can use the start and stop to do a shorter video. If they don't ever hit stop it will time out at the at the maximum and then this is just the after the video is taken how long do you want the um, message to show up and that's about it for video